friends, I'm Zainab and Ali. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will talk all about the sun. A star is a hot, glowing ball of gas. When you look up in the night sky, you can see countless twinkling stars. Can you see any stars during the daytime? Of course, the light of daytime comes from our closest star, the sun. How close the sun to Earth? It's approximately 93 million miles away from Earth. That's 400 times farther than the distance between Earth and the moon. However, it's a good thing that Earth isn't too close to the sun. If we were too close, it would be way too hot to live here. Our sun is about 100 times wider than Earth, but it is just an average-sized star. The sun is also right in the middle of its life cycle. Right now, our sun is in a stage called yellow dwarf. It is about 4.5 billion years old. In another 5 billion years, the sun will become a big, cool star called a red giant. A few billion years after that, it will become a small white dwarf star. We can't live without sun. Life on Earth depends on the sun. Here are just a few reasons why. First, the sun's gravity holds our entire solar system together. Our solar system is even named after the sun. Heat from the sun makes Earth warm enough to live on. Without light from the sun, there would be no plants or animals and, therefore, no food and we wouldn't exist. Heat and light might be important for life on Earth, but the sun sends other stuff too. The sun sends lots of other energy and small particles toward Earth. Earth's protective magnetic field and atmosphere shields us from most of the energy and particles. But sometimes a big stream of these particles reaches Earth and interacts with the gases at the outer edge of our atmosphere. This causes streams of light in the sky, called auroras. The sun's neighbors. In our solar system, the closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Our sun's closest star neighbor is called Proxima Centauri. What does the sun look like? First of all, you should never look directly at the sun without very special protective eyewear. Scientists use telescopes with filters to capture images of the sun. Have any spacecraft visited the sun? It will be flying inside the sun's atmosphere, or corona. This spacecraft will help us learn more about how the sun works and how solar activity starts. This helps us to be more prepared. 